You'd think you'd know his name. Every time you switch on a light or turn on your radio, his contributions are as far-reaching as those of Newton or even his nemesis, Tom Edison. This mysterious, tall, dark Serbian invented alternating current, wireless communication, the modern electric motor, basic laser and radar technology, X-rays, neon, robotics, remote control and cellular technology, and even Star Wars tactical warfare, all over a hundred years ago. Yet today, who's ever heard of Nikola Tesla? How could history overlook such an incredible legacy? During his last moments on Earth, he no doubt asked himself the same question. Lying in a forgotten hotel room, alone and penniless, now 86 years of age. This is where our story begins. On that final night in January 1943, Nikola reflected on his life in near delirium. The flashes of light. I never had control over the flashes. They are so tormenting. Unstoppable images would flood his mind, accompanied by powerful flashes, like countless times before, due to a strange lifelong condition of his. When the word was spoken to me, the image of the object would appear vividly. And sometimes I was unable to distinguish whether what I saw was tangible or not. This caused me great discomfort and anxiety. In the murky light of the hotel room, he'd speak with ghosts from his past. Phantoms waiting for him to succumb. He remembered triumphant moments when he was struck with the vision of his world-transforming electric motor. The same design that's used everywhere today. Like a flash of lightning, in an instant, the truth was revealed. He was so sure of his breakthrough that he felt compelled to share it. He sailed for New York City, the seat of the modern world. Soon he'd become the quintessential American success story, transforming himself from a penniless immigrant into a legend of his time. The glitterati of New York's finest would flock to his laboratory to witness the spectacular high-voltage demonstrations. Notables such as Mark Twain, John Muir, Sarah Bernhardt, Stanford White, and Teddy Roosevelt, and many others attended. But one person not present was his ruthless competitor, Thomas Edison. Nikola would recall the War of the Currents, AC versus DC power. At the time, the electrification of the world was at stake. Alternating current's too damn dangerous. He's using tens of thousands of volts. DC only uses hundreds. I'm sure you can see the danger. Tesla, Tesla, Nikola Tesla. A man who could never take a joke. There was only one kind of power system that could feed cities all over the country that would allow Edison's incandescent bulbs to burn brightly. And Nikola had it. Tom Edison fought against it, tooth and nail. Hell, there are no rules here. We're trying to accomplish something. The bitter Edison would even resort to electrocuting stray animals, including a rogue elephant, to incite public...